Thanks a lot, Miranda. And joining us now is John Gizzi, White, or excuse me, Newsmax White House correspondent. John, it's good to have you with us. A couple things we want to talk about in the next three or so minutes. Uh, first, I commented earlier, Hillary Clinton been, has, has been absent from uh, media headlines, not doing any interviews for some 20 days. But you have a new column coming out about ten, or Hillary's 10 potential Democratic challengers, which we had time for all 10. But talk to us about who you yeah. think is the one or two most serious challengers, considering she has such a commanding lead in the polls right now. Well, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont, an independent who votes with Democrats, has already said he's in the race. Polls show him getting about 15% of the vote in the Iowa Democratic caucuses compared to 60% for Secretary Clinton. On the other hand, should some of the uh, revelations about the funding of the Clinton Foundation metastasize, uh, I would expect others would get in. My money personally is on the person who right now is having a little bit of a battle royal with President Obama, and that's Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts. Well, let's, let's talk about Warren she a little bit been, more, because she has been uh, egged on by so many of her supporters to jump in this race. We heard about a meeting she may have had last week with the Draft Warren group. You think she's getting serious about jumping in? I think so, and remember something. She has been the quarterback among Senate Democrats who are opposing trade authority for the president in negotiating the two major treaties that he desperately wants and is so far frustrated with. Most of his fury about this has been aimed at Senator Warren. Uh, that is what dominated the briefing for reporters conducted by Press Secretary Josh Earnest a few minutes ago. All right, we're going to talk to you more about this uh, kerfuffle between Senate Democrats and the White House coming up in our next segment. But let's also talk about another column you've been working on, and that's a conversation you had with the White House Press Secretary, Josh Earnest, about the debt crisis in Greece. Explain to us. We've got about a minute left here. All right, very simply this. Um, the administration, we know, has been very interested in Greece repaying its loans and keeping Germany under Chancellor Merkel happy that they're repaying them in a timely fashion. Greek owing 450 billion euros are facing ruin. Josh Ernest confirmed to me the president himself does not get involved or have conversations with world leaders, but Jack Lew, the Treasury Secretary, talks on a regular basis with his counterparts and leaders in Europe, including Greek Prime Minister Cyprus. This is important because if Greek goes underwater, with so many Americans investing in European products and markets, we could feel the effects of a Greek collapse or Greek exiting the euro, the Grexit, in this country. I might add one thing. He emphasized the Greeks have got to take responsibility for working out their own debt relief with their major creditors themselves. And there hasn't really been a lot of appetite to do that from the new uh, head of Greece, Cyprus, and it remains to be seen that that's going to play out. So we'll look forward to more on that coming from you, John Gizzi. If you could stick around for a couple more minutes, we're going to continue our conversation. What is going on with Democrats in the Senate blocking President Obama and his wishes on this fast track for trade deals? Strange stuff going on. Republicans supporting it as well. So is the president. We'll have John Gizzi back and Liz Peake will be joining us as well right after this.